Hey, it's me, Dominique, from Blogging My Undies. Um, I'm still waiting for the V-Man to finish his music therapy, so I think I have just enough time to squeeze in like a five-minute video all about long-distance friendships. Yay! So, as you know, I live in Finland, and I do have a lot of friends here, which is awesome, uh, but most of my childhood friends and some of my best friends, you know, they all live in Canada, and... I have to say, you know, a lot of people wondered, you know, when I was getting ready to leave for Finland, you know, do you think you'll be able to handle being away from your friends and family? And I'm like, sure, why not? And I don't mean it that, oh, I, I don't like my friends, I don't love my family. No, it has nothing to do with that. It's just we live in an amazing time of technology. Of course, it's only going to get better probably in the future. But as it stands right now, we have so many things that make connecting you know, people all over the world, so simple, so fast, and affordable for the most part. There's Skype, there's uh, WhatsApp, which is my favorite app to download. It's free for the first year. Then it's 89 euro cents or 99 American slash Canadian cents a year. So it's unlimited text messages. I can send videos and photos galore to all my friends as things happen. And also you can call for 99 cents a year. Cannot complain. Uh, there's Facebook Messenger. I know there's some issues with privacy, so that's up to you. Facebook itself. There's email, you know, the old-fashioned way. There's postcards and letters, you know. So I, I can't say that, you know, I regret moving to Finland. Never mind, you know, leaving all my friends and family behind. I have no regret, especially when it comes to the V-Man being diagnosed and the A-Man, you know, but especially the V-Man because he's not potty trained yet, for example. So, you know, it's it's a blessing in disguise, I guess, like leaving and coming to a new country and experiencing everything that Finland has to offer culturally and medically and just in general. So I don't feel bad at all, you know, for leaving teeny tiny Nova Scotia, Canada, because I am learning so much by traveling. My kids are learning. My kids are learning another language that they would never learn in Canada, more than likely. So I, I'm quite happy to leave where I was from. You know, it's not exactly the safest place, to be honest. Growing up, uh, I grew up in a kind of gangster, you know, ghetto, thugville, whatever you want to call it, you know, where... There's still unsolved mysteries, and some of my classmates have been charged with murder or died or, you know, and not necessarily in a car accident kind of way. You know, they've died from gang wars and so on and random beatings. So I, I really, you know, the friendships I do have and the relationships I do have in Canada, they are still strong. They're still maintained thanks to internet and technology today. So I... I have no problem with it, and I don't think any of my friends do. Of course, it's hard with birthdays, Halloween, Christmas, and so on, milestones of our kids and everything, but we manage with the internet and technology, so I have no regrets. Anyway, thanks so much for the question, and uh, have a great day. Bye!